Ukraine begins hunt for Russian glide bombs. Armed forces of country use the tactics of preventive strikes. Ukraine seems to have begun the hunt for warehouses with Russian winged glide bombs, which have become a real headache for the Ukrainian armed forces in recent months. Business Insider writes about this, analyzing the latest drone strikes on Russian territory. The publication notes that gliding bombs are extremely difficult to intercept in flight and they are dropped from aircraft far beyond the range of Ukrainian air defense systems. Therefore, to counter this threat, it is necessary to hit planes at airfields or directly at bomb depots. This is likely what happened last Saturday when dozens of kamikaze drones struck the Kuchayovskaya airfield where Russian Su-34 and Su-35 fighters are based which are used daily to carry out attacks on Ukrainian forward positions using glide bombs. According to British intelligence, footage from the site of the strike suggests that the drones hit the warehouse with kits for glide bombs, although it is not yet known whether the planes themselves were damaged. Ukraine's ability to disrupt Russian tactical air, particularly glide bomb usage, is key to the wider defense of the front lines, the British intelligence noted. According to the author of the publication, Saturday's strike on the Kushchayovskaya airbase isn't the first time Ukraine has gone after Russian airbases hosting fighter bombers that can drop glide bombs. In early April, Ukraine staged a huge drone attack on the Morozovsk airbase in Rostov, hundreds of miles inside Russia. While the extent of the damage was ultimately unclear, the attack appeared to underscore Ukraine's desire to stomp out the glide bomb threat before the aircraft could take flight. Experts have warned that Russian glide bombs pose a tremendous threat to Ukrainian forces stated in the material. Apocalyptic picture of Ukraine's Chasiv Yar, which is under constant Russian attacks. The Associated Press has obtained exclusive drone video footage of the ruined town of Chasivyar in Donetsk Oblast. This particular town is under continuous attack and attempts to be captured by Russian forces. The footage shows Chasivyar set amid green fields and woodland pounded into an apocalyptic vista. The destruction is reminiscent of the cities of Bakhmut and Avdiivka, which Ukraine yielded after months of bombardment and huge losses for both sides. Not a single intact building remains in the town, with houses and municipal offices charred, and the town, once home to 12,000 residents, now nearly deserted. The Associated Press noted that capturing the town would give Russia control of a hill from which it could attack other towns that form the backbone of Ukraine's eastern defenses. This would set the stage for a potentially broader Russian offensive that Ukrainian officials say could come as early as this month. Associated Press stressed. On the 14th of April, Alexander Sirsky, commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine, said that Russia was concentrating efforts to break through the Ukrainian defense west of Bakhmut, seize the settlement of Chasiv Yar, and create conditions for further advancement to the Kramatorsk agglomeration. He noted that the highest Russian military leadership had set the task for its troops to capture Chasiv Yar by the 9th of May. After capturing Avdiivka and multiple villages in the east, Moscow now has its eyes on the next primary target, the town of Chasiv Yar. Outgunned and outnumbered, Ukrainian troops are fighting against an over 20,000 Russian grouping to defend the strategically important town. Russia has already reached the eastern outskirts of Chasiv Yar. The capture of Chasiv Yar would make it easier for Russia to launch a broader offensive in Donetsk Oblast, a Ukrainian region that has been the scene of the heaviest fighting of the war since 2014. About half of Donetsk Oblast, including the regional capital, is currently under Moscow's control. Chasiv Yar lies in the industrial region of Donbass, which comprises Donetsk and Luhansk Oblasts. 